Investigators say eight students and one teacher were shot uh, by a 14-year-old student, and they say the suspected gunman also shot and killed two other 14-year-olds and two teachers. Uh, we have pictures of each of these victims so that you can put faces with the names that we're about to give you. That is Mason Shermerhorn and Christian Angulo. They were each only 14. And then here's Christina Irami and Richard Aspinwall. Both of them were math teachers here at Appalachie High School. Last night, students gathered to mourn those lives lost and to comfort one another. I was listening and you could hear gunshots like, just ringing out through the school and like, you're just wondering like, which one of those is going to be somebody that you're like best friends with or somebody that you love. And it's like, it's really like a terrifying thing. And right now memorials are growing here at the school and at Jug Tavern Park where that vigil was held last night. Our Don Shipman continues our team coverage this morning. He is uh, at the park, and Don, there are flowers there. There are people leaving notes. It's really a chance for the community to come together to support each other. Yeah, to support each other, to support the families dealing with such great loss. The, the, the sun is coming up, it's a little bit lighter out and I can kind of get my bearings now and look around and I can look right across the street here and I see a church and I suspect that a lot of people are going to be leaning on their faith in the coming weeks here. Take a look right here, you can see all the flowers, you can see the mementos, stuffed animals right there and those candles all being placed right there on those steps. This park was filled with dozens upon dozens of people, community members here at Jug Tavern Park last night. There were a number of speakers who took to the stage, others just getting together to talk and hold one another. It's a tiny source of comfort for this community, mourning the loss of two 14-year-old students, like you said, also two teachers. Now, one of the students, a freshman, brought balloons to honor the victims. We're just going to release balloons for the people who died, like, because it's just sad. People pass and, like, it's just crazy to know things like this actually happen, you know? Another student that we talked with said that people's lives changed today. Another saying that we go to school to learn, to get an education, calling this mass shooting unacceptable. Like you mentioned, no classes today, no classes tomorrow, but grief counselors are being made available to the students, to the faculty here, and to the community at large. At their central offices, they will have those counselors available if you need to simply talk. Guys, 